Okay, so this is a, a lick that was requested that I do a lesson on by Brad Hopper. So I'm going to call this the Brad Hopper Lick since uh, licks don't really have names, but I'm going to call it the Brad Hopper Lick because he requested it. So um, he sent me two videos with a similar lick in it of uh, two drum set players playing this thing. And uh, it basically goes the way that I just did it. So let me break it down. There are three variations potentially four if you want to look at it as four but uh in the video that he sent me um it appears that the drummer is doing this but just slow so um on an uh, electric drum set like this it's very articulate and it's tight right now when you do this on an acoustic drum set there's a lot more resonance in the drums so this actually sounds a whole lot fatter on an acoustic drum set and so that's the way it comes across in the videos that he sent me so what i'm actually doing is a double kick on the bass drum and then you can view this a couple different ways bass drum and then a tom it doesn't really matter what tom it is with the right hand and then a, a single stroke roll uh, beginning with the left hand or another way to look at it is you're doing a single stroke roll, but just starting with the tom. Another way to look at it is the way the drummer was doing it in this particular video, is he actually was playing six notes with his hands when he did this. Now, I don't know if the drummer intentionally meant to play six notes or if he was trying to view it as a, uh, a single stroke roll. I don't know the way he was thinking of it. But so he was playing actually six notes. So he was doing this. So it's six with your hands. Now, the other thing I noticed is in the video, uh, the particular drummer is using a double bass pedal to play the two notes on the bass drum. Which, uh, you know, I guess that could be easier if you're playing it really fast. But I can do it both ways. So you could do it if you're a single bass drum player. Do a double kick. Or two bass drums. So let me talk about variations. Um, in the other video that he sent me, it appeared that the drummer was not using a double uh, note on the bass drum. It looked like he was doing a single note. So... That way that you would play that would be like this. Now, the way that I choose to view that is um, the same way I, as the double one, but we're playing a single one. So I'm not really um, playing a specific number of notes. I mean, if you, if you really wanted to, you could say there's septuplets, right? That septuplets means seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can think of it that way if you want to, but I'm not really thinking of it that way. I'm thinking of it more as a, a, a single stroke roll here, and then just filling in the space with that bass drum. So that's with one note. Another way you could do this is uh, by playing a triplet, if you're using a double bass pedal. So slow that would be. So those are the three variations. Um, question I get asked a lot is, well, how do I develop that kind of speed? Um, I really am a huge advocate of going back and doing basic exercises. If you go to my website, tobinwagsapp.com, um, in the very beginning of all my tracks, you'll see what I consider to be the four basic exercises. I teach them to you and also I have training videos where you play along with me to develop them and to develop your speed correctly. You can't just jump on a drum set and do this unless you've been playing for a really long time and uh, you've developed yourself that way. If you're a, a younger player and I mean you know haven't been playing for too long you really want to focus on your basic exercises, your basic techniques and developing them correctly to develop the speed so doing something like this is attainable. So there you go, it's the Brad Hopper Lick video.